Um, next on our agenda is uh, item 11, DRIPNET contract settlement. AAG Bruce is gonna introduce the, yes. give the background. Michelle on the is, excuse me, sir. Michelle Buse, Assistant Attorney General. Last month, we briefed the board in closed session regarding the proposal to recover funds for a contract that expired, but was not completed. And a payment had been made to the vendor. This settlement and release agreements have been working with the vendor on. The vendor indicated they would accept the language, the terms of the agreement as it is. Um, I need to thank board member Hymas for pointing out I need to update one of the dates in there that the first payment would be made February 15th. Thank you for that help in your careful reading. Um, so with that, I would ask that the board approve this settlement and release agreement with DRIPNET to recover the funds that had been paid to them. So moved, board member Cannon. Second, Lear. We have a motion and a second. You want to speak to the motion, board member Lear? It was Janet Cannon who made the motion. Oh, well, I, there you go, board member Cannon. Uh, I believe that uh, AAG Buse did a good job in uh, letting us know exactly what this was and that we can move forward rather quickly. Okay, any discussion to the motion? Seeing none, the motion before the board is that the board accept the proposed DRIPNET contract settlement agreement. Board members at this time, please vote. Okay, voting is complete and it appears the voting is unanimous. Is that how you see it, Vice Chair Belna? Yes. Appreciate your, the double and triple check. 